Howdy, howdy, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And let me tell you, finally, after years and years and years, we get a Celsius 164. What? This is freaking cool. This is the Coyle Joy Celsius Chevrolet Camaro. So glad we finally got one of these uh, paint skews made. Now, it is on a base because, uh, well, certain people apparently find energy drinks um, as dangerous as gambling or alcohol, so that that's always great. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this die cast out of the box. Bam! Look at this epic freaking die cast. Holy cow, this is so cool, guys. If you have not picked up this car, holy cow, go to the Circle B, get it while it's in stock. This thing is incredible, and while you're at it, Pick up that Michael McDowell Loves car. Those the incredible freaking diecast guys. Brand new here in the studio. And of course, you can use that promo code to help out the channel. Save you some money on shipping as well. Helps everybody out, right? You don't have to use it, of course. And let's dive into this diecast review, shall we? Looking at this car here, it's a pretty simple paint scheme. The top of the car looks like a vinyl muscle top uh, that you would see in the late 60s. You have the Celsius logo, which is pretty cool looking. On the hood, you have kind of the, the Schluter Systems orange uh, that goes around the front now i don't think it's flames i think it's more of like a like a splash pattern or something whatever it is looks really really cool it goes right above the headlights wraps all the way to the side and dissipates right where the door number is or front panel number <laughs> you get the headlights there a little bit wonky jaw on one side's a little bit higher that's kind of unfortunately common nowadays got the number seven sunoco spire motorsports number uh, or Sunoco right there. It does come on a base. This is your next-gen bases. They're pretty much the same. I will say, though, I have heard that if you do crack these bases, which be extremely careful if you do, there is a chance it could actually crack the plastic as well on the on the base of the car. I don't, It's super rare, but I have actually seen someone's, um, I think it was a Kevin Harvick die cast, and it actually cracked the bottom of the, uh, the plastic chassis of the car trying to get it off. So just be careful, right? Um, but I'm just so glad they got this car made because here's the reality about NASCAR diecast is that if they don't quote unquote officially make it, someone will just keeping it real. And that's how it's been for a while now with the Celsius cars. People want them. If you don't make the diecast of it, someone else will. And it's an awesome paint scheme. They sponsor a buttload of drivers. I mean, they sponsor Arca cars, Xfinity cup series. I think they even sponsored some trucks as well. They have been all over the sport, but what I would like to see them do is run different flavors. If you're going to sponsor a lot, run some different flavors. I tell you, the marketing the marketing for it, it's going to be fantastic, especially if you get 164s made, because if you're a big fan of this drink, which I've never drank it before, um, you're going to want to get all those die casts made. And you know, have those in your collection and be able to collect them. And it's just, it's great for the sponsor, helps them be able to make more money, but it also helps the fan get more die casts in their collection. So again, I've never tried this. I've heard it's I've heard it's good, right? I mean, most uh, energy drinks or nutrition energy drinks, whatever the biff you want to, uh, you know, categorize, categorize it. If I could English, I have never tried it. I'm more of a coffee self person myself. I don't drink soda. Haven't had one in pff, eight years. Yeah, <laughs> last time I had an energy drink, I think it was a Rockstar in 2014. I mean, it was good, but man, uh, it, it definitely not for me. I'm definitely a coffee uh, cat myself. Try to, you know, I, I, I try to eat as clean as possible, but I don't eat perfectly, right? I got Goodyear right there. Got number seven, 75th Anniversary Cup Series, Corey LaJoy. You got Respect. What is this, GTA San Andreas? We got Respect. <laughs> Mission passed. Respect. I love that game. I love this right here, though. When you put the, the product, especially when it's food or, or beverage or whatever the biff it is, put it on the car. It looks so freaking cool. Like, what they could do is take the can and have it, like, sideways like they did on Brad Kay and Kurt Busch's um, Miller Lite cars and have it open and, like, it pouring down and, like, splashing. That would look really cool with the orange. I think that would be a really cool um, cool idea to do. I would love to see that. Yeah, Celsius Live Fit. I will say I wish they would have used more of the side panel. That's why I mentioned using the can and having it kind of like pouring down. I think that would have took up a little bit of this gap here. I'm really picky about that. Um, but you got Live Fit, which that's pretty cool. 
I'm guessing it's more like it's an energy drink that you would consume that I don't know has like a I don't know, less sugar or l less calories, which you gotta always track that things those things if you're uh, you know you're trying to get you know trying to eat better and stuff, which <laughs> it's a chore to do, but I enjoy it, right? Got to be passionate about it. So I'm guessing that's their kind of their demographic, uh, which you know is different than a lot of other energy drinks, which is cool. Get a buttload of small contingencies. I, I can't even read half of those. So hopefully you can. <laughs> Go to the back end of the car. Got Nations Guard right there. Got the number seven Camaro Z01 Spyro Motorsports. Go to the right side of the car. And I, I love seeing that cam there. It's just so cool. Celsius Live Fit. Now, the ball is in their court. They have proven they can make a 164 with it, albeit on the base. But where's the AJ Almendinger one? Right? We need a freaking AJ Almendinger Celsius car. I don't care if it's Cup Series. I don't care if it's Xfinity Series. I mean, I'll, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. If they don't make it, someone somewhere in the world will. Just just saying. Just just saying. Go to the roof of the car. Got the yellow number seven, which, differ, uh, which differentiates uh, from the uh, orange number seven. Got Celsius right there on the roof. LaJoy and Schluter Systems. Right there on the deck lid, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, when you look at the car from this side, it actually looks like speakers. That actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> that's a pretty cool car, guys. So my my honest take on this piece is that this is fantastic. I'm so glad to see the Celsius car get made. I want to see more of them. I want to see more of these things made. We don't get nowhere near enough 164s made nowadays. It seems like there are so many great paint schemes that never get produced anymore. And I know it's always been that technically throughout NASCAR diecast history, but it was 10 times more uncommon back in the 2000s, right? Like, I mean, obscure small cup teams were getting diecast made, like like BAM Racing, right? The 49 team back in like 02 and 03 and 04. I mean, they were a significantly smaller team and they were still getting 164s made for all their sponsors, just about. Uh, they had obscure Bush Series cars that were getting promos. I mean, we're like talking borderline unsponsored cars that were getting like promo diecasts. And then you look at all the paint schemes that Corey LaJoy runs all year. All the paint schemes AJ Almendinger runs all year. Where's the 164s? That's what I'm saying. They don't make nowhere near enough of them. And that's why a lot of people make them themselves. I'm just saying, it, it is a there is a huge shift in the die-cast realm, and it's because they don't make the, all the cars anymore. They don't make them, and people have taken that into their own hands, and they're like, hey, I want this in my collection. I'm a huge fan of this driver. I'm a huge fan of this. What do they do? They make it themselves. You need a great example? Check out Chase Hill's Pocono win. Yes, I know it was a, a, a DQ'd event or whatever, but regardless, people want that in their collection, and that's why you see a lot of people make 124s of it. And they're freaking awesome, the the the, the race to wear detail they put into them. Uh, so that's kind of where the die-cast market has went, is that they don't make nowhere near um, the enough paint schemes that are ran all year. I mean, let, I'm just going to show some great examples. You know, if I really want a Sam Mayer die-cast, got to make it yourself. Okay, well, how about another colleague paint scheme? Wow, got to make it yourself, right? You know, if you want a, a, a Jeffrey Earnhardt paint scheme, well, you got to make it yourself. Okay, what about a Ross Chastain truck from 2023? Oh, well, you got to make it yourself. If, what, about a, what about a number 15 dead-on tools Ford? You got to make it yourself, right? That's the unfortunate reality when it comes to most die casts nowadays is you get all these incredible paint schemes you see on television and they're racing and stuff and they don't make no 164s for it and it's super frustrating considering 15 20 years ago they made every single paint scheme just about and it's frustrating and I've, I've, I've talked about it many times in my videos and i still think they should do limited releases you know do 100 or 200 of a paint scheme make it a super obscure release and not only will they be able to get some die casts out, they'll make a lot of consumers happy as well. But um, this is a great die cast. Absolutely recommend it. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a blessed one, everybody. Die cast buffet. Signing off.